Hey, um, I have this set up because I want to get these little pegs into position for the motherboard so that I have everything um, where I need it. So I want to take note of what part of the motherboard is assembled or held where, or, you know, uh, fastened. And I want to go from there. I want to see what leeway I have, how much leverage I have, and I just want to make sure things line up before, like, I sit this motherboard in there. Uh, just to recap, we have got the uh, the uh, drives installed, so we're good to go there. Um, and now, let's see here, we gotta get this little piece of hardware to just sit. So what I'm gonna do is find out how to get these little pegs to sit in there and get them all positioned. Look carefully at where on your motherboard, how it's fastened. And your original motherboard, that's why I'm kind of sitting it up here in a haphazard fashion because I like the space. Give it some power from the power unit. The video card, the radio on the 250 PCI. Grab a screw, grab that. So, pretty much, we are pretty much home free. <laughs> let me just get a whole little grip on that, and let me just break that, and pretty much, these tools are getting me today. Alright, let's get a little break on that, that way, so I have to replace that with this one, so I can put a screw in it. Okay, now, with that in, pretty much all my pegs are in there, and I'm satisfied with that. Um, and now I'm going to proceed to get ready here to uh, unmount the motherboard and then mount it in here. But before I do that, I need to figure out what screws and how many of them should I be using to make this motherboard get seated properly. Right. Um, it's critical to have, an, uh, like, say, a, a motherboard or a manual for your motherboard um, so that you know what each wire is connected because some of them are not as easy. In this particular case we're fortunate because I feel as though that this is well marked in terms of you know your power buttons and things like that. So we know where the power switch is, we know where the uh, reset switch is, we know where the, you know, the hard drive lights, and we got one of the speakers. Now everything is disconnected from this motherboard and we are set to go. So. I'm going to basically break free. I'm going to use uh, a little uh, see, get my little breaker. Just go through and uh, break through all of this. Get these screws because it's been this motherboard's been in here for quite a bit, and I just want to break these screws loose. Uh, okay, I'm getting there. Let's see here. Go through and break. All these screws broken off so that we can just get over it and get her done. Okay. Alright. All screws are broken. I'm seeing some dust. I'm fanatic about getting the dust out of these things. So hold your nose, look out. Woo! They look, machines love to be clean. That's true. Alright. I now, sell you five for five out. <laughs> Alright. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pull all the Bye -bye. screws. Off of this board, and um, and also want to bring attention to the back of the case, the back case plate. Let's see, all right, we're gonna use the one that came with the machine, if at all possible. But uh, I don't think that's happening because it's attached too much to the case. And this one that we have here, like the holes match, so we can we can make it. We, we can certainly make it. Let's see what else we'd have to do. Yeah, and I don't even really like that faceplate down there, but we're just gonna have to make do with it. We have no choice, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, back to screws. I'm still doing the screw removal part. Um, Shit. Okay, you could slide those down to, uh, or you know, kind of move those down to not damage anything. And I'm gonna gently slide the board off of its place. Ooh, big spender. Mm-hmm. 
And once again, it's pretty dusty under there. Nobody's That's been there. That's a motherboard. This is <laughs> this is where it's at. This is where you know where it kind of starts. And wow, man, wow. I love seeing like way things differently look. But yeah, what we have here is um, it's a pretty old motherboard. It's a GA dash seven one XE or seven IXE Gigabyte Revision one point one. Um, it's it's an old board. I'm not too familiar with this board to be honest, but it works. It serves me well. It runs, you know, helps me run Windows XP, and I'm good to go. Well, now this case is here by more. this here <laughs> this case is here by Derelict, and we can go forth with the build. Um, so bear with me a second, and Broke I'm just gonna wing. pull that case off, and we're gonna stow it for now. All right, let's get the place. They're going to proceed with the continuing the construction on this new machine. Now, I'm going to have to just figure out how to massage it in, in a way. Like um, a massage parlor. Mm-hmm. I'm going to ground, you know, touch ground case, you know, and I'm uh, just going to hold it. And it's just going to have a happy ending. Make sure, <laughs> make sure that all the wires... You rub the motherboard just right. <laughs> you can watch internet porn later. Yeah, you could on this actually. You know, there's no doubt there. There's your happy ending. Oh yes. Oh yes, indeed. All right. Now I'm gonna kind of position it down. It's gonna be kind of awkward, but you just gotta kind of make it fit in there. It may have been ideal to maybe. Here's something I'm sure a girl never said to you. It's too big. <laughs> I'm sorry. Charles, kids are watching this. I'm sorry. Oh wait! What well, we... your motherboard too big? <laughs> All right, now we got the kind of almost in position, but there's a few knickknacks that we got to work on to make Howdy it. Whack, uh, give a dog a bone. Make it right. Let's see here. We'll make it. Like I said, it's a custom. It's a custom build, mm. so we got to kind of you know adjust and position our stuff so that it lines up. This year, I have to make some modifications, <laughs> and I'm gonna have to get it in here. He's a computer wizard. <laughs> all right, and it's almost in the right position. All right, all right. Okay, like most of these case back plates are pretty much standardized, so hey, we're very fortunate, and we can roll with it. Just to make sure it looks nice and pretty. Yeah. It's a piece of aluminum. I think it's a piece of aluminum, so it's pretty flexible. And we're ready to start the process of uh, screwing and fastening the motherboard. Nice screw out. <laughs>